Hello, the purpose of this video is to demonstrate the fetch command from the server, from the web page to the ESP32. In our first video, we talked about the fetch command, uh, which, which can be sent by the server in the web, uh, from the web page. And in our second video, we talked about the ESP IDF uh, 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 HTTPS local server uh, installation. This video will combine between two of those uh, videos. Here we can see the server that we ran, which will emulate our Firebase hosting in the local host 500 and the server is running. We downloaded the code from, uh, uh, from, uh, from the GitHub and uh, I will run it and commented out two lines, this one and this one. Those two lines uh, are uh, addressing the course reference error. Now we will see what would happen whether those two lines won't be originated. So if we will not regard to the course, to the uh, cross-origin control. Now we see that our server is running on the on the on this IP. So uh, we can uh, take this uh, take this IP and, for example, perform a POST request from the postman. We see that the request is successful. We got some data that we sent and the server got our POST response. And similarly, we can perform GET request if not from Postman, which can be done also from Postman, but by browser. And you see that uh, uh, this is a small. Uh, this is an, another thing, but we got the get response. Why it worked here? Cause we are on the same uh, on the same domain like, like like a server. But if if we will open another tab and take our virtual server localhost and try to run it here we see the cross origin request was blocked so the 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 browser see that we are trying to to reach another another ip and it's blocking us uh, similarly, if we will up upload this uh, this uh, page up to the Fire Firebase hosting, we can communicate with ESP32 because of the cross cross origin because of the course errors. The course errors are very laconic, and we can't really understand what does it mean. But basically, we uh, we can't communicate between. Uh, different IPs without uh, some uh, restrictions. How do we solve it? What we will do, it will, it will uncomment those lines and return a header with wildcard. Access control allow origin wildcard. So our server ask not to and not to uh, count a course as an error. And here we will recompile it. And 
and uh, will perform the same uh, process okay the file is uploading Luckily, we have the same IP, so we don't need to change it in this run. Let's do the same. For example, we will start with a simple post. It works OK. Then we will go and uh, read from the same IP. OK, we, 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 got, we got this. We don't have a favicon, so <laughs> it also gets us an uh, error. Uh, and now, when we are going to the server here, and we reload the page, the GET request was successful, and we get the GET response. So that means that we will when we will upload this file, to the remote server and uh, the uh, it will work fine so let's uh, let's try let's try to do it okay we are going to here Uh, Firebase deploy only hosting okay now we uploading our um, our files to to the Firebase server. It usually takes uh, some time for the files to upload, so let's try if it's okay. Now, we'll go here, and you see we got the correct response from the Firebase ser server, which is placed on the in the in the in the internet. So the fetch, the fetch command, this one for this server was successful way from the remote location, and we got the response from ESP. 32 and uh, that's it and so in the series of those three videos we show how we can uh, fetch information by our web page in the remote location from the ESP32 server which is connected to the web via Wi-Fi thank you